So this is Charles versus Megan. Has he put up some sort of uh, campaign against her? If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, let's see. Um, you know, so the firm. It looks like maybe Prince... Philip was, uh, you know, had a lot to do with that, and uh, undoubtedly it uh, dribbles down into the royal family. I doubt that the queen has much to do with it. I can see Charles manipulating, or maybe courtiers. So, you know, is some is Charles or someone in his camp manipulating uh, the situation against uh, Meghan? So, you know, Charles really stepped up. I mean, when Meghan Markle's crazy dad would even uh, walk her down the aisle, it was Charles who stepped up and and did the job, and the job and I'm sure he's been very supportive as a matter of fact um, I think she wasn't prepared for what happens uh, when you become part of the royal family but if she was looking for help and she wasn't getting it and it was damaging her I certainly understand that and then compound that with Harry's situation well you know it's a whole thing so let's see what the cards say about some guilt here either way so this is another Los Scarabio, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these all in the right away uh, iconography kind of and a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning. And someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we'll mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards. And sometimes it's good to let the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute and then people get more involved you know once you've touched it it's uh it's more appealing so here we go we'll get this going so very interesting situation we have with um the charles and megan show um let's see if we could first start to pin this down uh, with just three cards i want to know um if there's blame on the side of uh, Charles's camp. Is there blame, is there honest blame on the side of Charles's camp with just three cards? Yep, I think that's a fair place to start. So, one, two, and three. Okay, is Charles's camp uh, to blame? So, now the first card off the top, Four Pentacles. Okay, so you know this is you know trying to hold on to your value, really uh, being greedy with with you know what you think is yours. And Charles has always uh, tried to hold on to his image. It seems to me. Uh, the next card for that is going to be off oh, the Tower card. So yeah, this is just a disaster. And so this is the you know this is obviously the 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 royal family. I mean, there's the Tower right there. And sometimes you even see that the King has fallen down. But I don't see that really, or a crown toppling down. I don't really see that uh, in this card right off the bat here. So the second card, then holding on to your worth. It's a huge, oh, there's the crown right there where you fall off the top. And then the last card is uh, being offered something that you don't want. So as far as is this uh, part of Charles's camp, um, It looks like it could be, you know, really trying to grasp onto the value, worried about the uh, situation of the monarchy, and making an offer that you don't really want. I mean, this one is the one that gets me. Um, so let's see what else we can find out about this. So if it is a part of his camp, then I want to know if um, on Megan's side, on Megan's side, did she take 
a um, aggressive tact against um, the situation with the royal family? Did Meghan take an aggressive tact against uh, the royal family? That's what I'd like to know, because that's what they say. One, two, three. Okay, signifier for that is, okay, things coming on quickly. Uh, partnerships. Well, this is obviously she and uh, significant of she and Harry. So the situation with she and Harry coming on strong, I would say. And um, oh boy, and this is uh, justice right here. And there didn't seem to be justice. So I would say that is her story. Okay. So there was some stirring up on his side of the camp, um, and then strong feelings that, that she wasn't having justice. Uh, so now let's see if. This situation between Charles and Meghan can be mended. Can this situation with Charles and Meghan be truly, truly mended? That's what I want to know because that's what it needs to show. Charles needs to show and Meghan, and he's the, the bigger of the two. He's the king. No, she's uh, nobody. So let's do six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I suppose some of the have the idea of a king that you should bow and scrape to the king. So I think the king has to know when to guide his subjects. Signifier of that, okay, backstabbing. Okay, that's how this feels. I'm going to say this is how this would have felt to Charles. I don't know why Meghan would have felt stabbed in the back until now with the press, but I mean, at the time this was going on, uh, I would say that was Charles. Challenged by these new starts, okay, these new beginnings, you know, this new situation of having Megan uh, in the center of everything and really taking up so much light. I mean, it was just like Diana kind of again. Um, the base of this reading then is the Knight of Swords. So this is, you know, this is a very defensive Charles here. This is um, on the behalf of Charles here feeling, um, you know, it's my right uh, to, um, to defend uh, myself. Uh, when I feel like I'm being attacked. The past of this reading, look at that, is a hierophant. It is the very uh, monarchy uh, that uh, was behind all of this. And the sky of this, again, because things were happening so fast, this public opinion in her favor and him not really picking up steam, I think is what uh, is the issue here. And then the uh, likely outcome of this, okay, this is endings and beginnings. This is, you know, this will come to a conclusion and something new will happen. And this could be very well uh, when Charles becomes king. Uh, it could be beyond that, but that's what that looks like to me. So it, I'm thinking that this uh, rift can be heal healed um, when Charles is the king. Uh, let's see, is that the truth? Let's see the self of that question. Will this rift be healed, healed when Charles is the king? First card off that is, uh, okay, feeling betrayed. Let's get over it, Charles. Let's, come on, you pass your feelings. What is that in the environment of? This is in the environment of uh, the uh, high priestess. So this is... Um, um, deep emotional feelings, okay? This is an entitlement that's been bruised. Um, that's what this is in the environment of. Um, a, a feeling of uh, that I deserve this attention and, uh, and I can't fight against it to get it back. The hopes and the fears of this then is the page of cups. And of course it is. It's an offer. It's the beginning. It's an offer of some emotion, of some forgiveness. This page, as a matter of fact, looks very sad. And I would say this has to be Megan. This has to be Megan. At the least, it has to be Harry. But we're talking about Charles and, and Megan. And I think this has to be her. Okay. And a surprise can come from that. And then the likely outcome of everything then is ah, the Eight of Cups walking away from an emotional situation that really, um, you know, you feel like you've left a lot behind. Um, the likely outcome, leaving an emotional situation uh, where you feel like you've left a lot behind. Let's get draw two more cards as clarifiers for that. Um, so this card, uh, who is leaving something behind? Does this represent Charles? Does, and we're talking about Charles, um, which I think this may be what this is. Or does this represent uh, Megan? Because we're just just Charles and Megan. We're not bringing the husband into this. First card off the bat, the sun. So Charles is the sun. Yeah, Charles wants to get this glory back that he used to have. 
Well, yeah, it seemed very revealing, as a matter of fact. So, you know, Charles is feeling this way kind of deservedly. I mean, even if he does have some old-fashioned ideas in his head about how uh, people should get together. But, uh, yeah, I think that's his hurt feelings. I think this new um, uh, journey that they're all go off on has been the challenge at, uh, at this time, especially. I feel like Charles feels like his, his honor has been offended, and he needs to protect it. And um, the Hierophant just verifies for me that we're talking about the monarchy here. You know, that's what we're dealing with, the rules and the construct around all of that. And then when things started happening so quickly, as far as the public opinion just racing over to uh, Megan, I'm sure it had to bring uh, uh, flush feelings back for how uh, Diana just ran over him uh, popularity-wise. And then the likely outcome is that, yeah, everything has its end and its beginning. This will run its course. This will run its course. But um, And I wanted to verify, is this really Charles that I'm talking about here? I said, yeah, he's feeling betrayed. He's feeling betrayed, and uh, he wants the dignity that he feels is due to him by just by his position, okay, in, in this uh, priestess. And uh, the, the forgiveness, I think, has to come on the part of Megan uh, as this page uh, coming forth with a cup of compassion and a surprise. And then the, uh, but the likely outcome of the whole thing was still having felt like you've left so much uh, emotionally behind. And I said, is that, who is that? Is that Charles or is that Megan? And we get the son, Queen Elizabeth's son. That's Charles. So there we go. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.